Let me end with this. When Jesus said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Okay, I don't know about the Romans, but the Jews who were there knew that he was quoting from Psalm 22. Not because it was the most popular passage. No, it, it wasn't. But it's because every single one of them at some point in their lives said that prayer or something like it. My God, where are you? My God, what's going on? And I think it's something that all of us have said at some point in our lives as well or questioned or yelled or complained at some point in our lives. And did you know this? The Bible, in your Bible, it's written in some strange, weird language. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. Why isn't this translated into English? Is this some spiritual, holy language? No, actually, quite the contrary. It was written in the common, everyday language, Aramaic. Psalm 22 was written in Hebrew, and it was always recited in Hebrew. But Jesus says it in the regular common language, Aramaic, the everyday language that they spoke in, that they prayed in, that they yelled in, complained in, the everyday language. It was our language. And maybe you never said the exact words, why have you forsaken me? But in your own words, have you said something similar? In your own dialect, God, where the heaven are you? Or maybe your language is a little more colorful. In your own language, in your own soul, in your own dialect, have you pointed your finger at God? God, where are you? God, what's going on? God, why aren't you stopping this? See, we know God exists. But our question isn't about His existence. It's about His presence. More than that, we're not asking God, are you there? But we're asking God, do you care? I know God exists, but where is God right now? When I'm going through this crisis, where is He right now? Where is He right now when I need a job? Where is He right now when a family member is dying? God, where are you? God, have you forgotten about me? Forsaken me? Why? 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 Why did you let my mom die? Why did you let my marriage end? Why did you let my parents get divorced? Why did my friend die so young? Why did my aunt get cancer? Why did you let my uncle abuse me? Why? And Jesus knows exactly how you feel, what you're going through, what you're yelling about, what you're complaining about in your own dialect. And that's the very reason why he was up there. He was up there abandoned so you would never be. He was up there forsaken so that we might be forgiven. He went through darkness so we could experience His light. He called the Father God so that we could call God Father. Amen? He called the Father God so we could call God Father. He called the Father God so that we could call God Father. He experienced terrible isolation and loneliness so we never would. Jesus died so that we might truly live. So no matter what questions you're shouting in your own dialect, God hears you and He loves you and He's here.